When collaborating with Git, you'll often use commands like merge, rebase, and squash. Each of these methods deals with merging branches, but they differ in their purposes, advantages, and points to watch out for. Choosing the right method can streamline your workflow and keep your commit history clean. Today, let's take a quick look at what each method does and when to use it. First, let's start with merge, the most common method. When you finish working on a feature branch, you can use git merge to bring your changes into the main branch. Merge combines the content from two branches while preserving each branch's commit history and creates a merge commit to mark the integration. The advantage of merge is that it keeps a full record of all commits, so you can easily see each developer's contributions. This is especially helpful in team settings. However, frequent merges can make the commit history look a bit cluttered and non-linear, especially when multiple branches are being merged at the same time. Next up is rebase, which also integrates changes from one branch into another, but in a different way. When you use rebase, Git takes each commit from your current branch and reapplies it on top of the target branch, as if those commits were originally made there. Since rebase essentially recreates commits, it changes the commit history. The main advantage of rebase is that it produces a cleaner, more linear commit history. This can make tracking changes much easier. However, as each commit is reapplied, you might have to resolve conflicts multiple times, which can be more complex. A key point to remember is that since rebase modifies history, it's generally not recommended for branches that have already been shared with others. Changing the history of a shared branch could cause conflicts for other developers working on the same branch. Finally, we have Squash, which merges multiple commits into a single one. Some code hosting platforms allow you to use Squash in combination with Merge, known as Squash and Merge. If your feature branch has several small commits, Squash can combine them into one commit, keeping the history simple. The downside is that while Squash preserves the final changes, it removes details from each individual commit, so you lose the ability to trace every single development step. In summary, Merge keeps a full commit history and creates a merge commit. Rebase maintains a clean, linear history by reapplying commits, but it alters commit history. And Squash combines multiple commits into one, which simplifies the commit history, but at the cost of losing individual commit details. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to ByteVigor for more great content.